Hey, welcome back everyone. It is July 5th yesterday, obviously. I hope everyone had a safe and happy 4th. I still have my fingers, so that's a good sign. Uh, today I did get a FedEx package, so it is another PSA return. This one is actually just one card though, um, and it's for my buddy Jay. So we sent a 1986-87 Fleer number 57 Michael Jordan rookie card. So um, Jay had this card, I think he said, in this thing, one of the old school non-recessed uh, screw downs for almost 30 years. So we were gonna see if we can get this thing graded and uh, he gave it to me, I looked at it. Um, I said there was a couple things we wanted to do goals wise. First one is to get it out of the case safely. Um, second thing I wanted to do was be able to kind of make sure that we fit the min size requirement for this particular card. Obviously, if you guys know about recessed holders, um, especially no sleeves or anything like that, it's just two flat plastic pieces squished together, tightened with screws. So over time, you can imagine the compression makes that card pretty flat. So I was hoping to be able to kind of expand it out uh, to get it to be gradable. And third one, we wanted to make sure it was authenticated because uh, this is one of probably the most iconic and recognized cards out there. Um, but it's also one of the most counterfeited. So uh, it was important for, for me actually to make sure that we can get all those things taken care of for Jay. So, um, First off, you know, here's a here's a video of me. <laughs> this is the first kind of like opportunity I had to hold this card. So uh, here's a video of me um, just pulling it apart from the screw down. And the goal was to hopefully have it not be stuck to both sides because if you pull it apart, it's just gonna destroy the surface. So um, fortunately and unfortunately, as you can see, um, it was stuck to the front. So I had to get it out of there and you can't just peel it off just because you could rip the surface up. So I threw it in the freezer for about 10 minutes, popped right open or popped right out, I should say. And the surface looked really good. Um, there's edges and corner issues on this particular card, obviously in centering uh, in all directions, both front and back. So I wanted to be super transparent um, with my assessment with Jay so he understood what we were getting into. So first off, I just told him expectations is A, just to get this authenticated. Second, try to get it gradable. So um, here's our text. But um, he asked me basically what I thought it would be. And I try to avoid pre-grading for a lot of folks, but at the same time, you know, um, it's not like I have a pre-grading service. So anytime folks send me cards that I agree that they can send me cards, at least I turn down a lot of folks. Um, I want to be able to take the time to give you guys a good rundown of the grades that you might get and why. So this one I told him, uh, personally, I thought it'd be a seven because of combination of issues with centering, um, both left to right, front and back, uh, both left to right, top and bottom on both front and back were significantly off to even, even think of getting a nine. Uh, second corner wear, same thing, multiple corners had a edge or had, had obvious signs of wear itself. Not horrible though. They were actually not bad, but there's some whitening. And then third edge wear. So, um, combination of those three, um, even with a clean surface, I thought the best grade it could get was probably a seven. Um, you know, uh, I didn't think there was really a chance of an eight, but you never know. Right. So, uh, I found out this card got graded only because I got an email that uh, said that we were getting upcharged, which was exciting news. Um, but I didn't have a chance to look at the grade because I just don't do that. Um, so we're going to find out together right now what we got. So the good news is it did get graded and let's find out what it is. Okay, here we are guys. So um, we're going to take a look at this Jordan. So uh, real quick, once again, I thought just based on how it looked, I thought it'd be a seven, but the main goal, once again, it was just to get this thing graded, authenticated, and uh, we were able to obviously achieve both that way. So I'm going to pat myself on the back here and thank you, Jay, for that. But let's take a quick look. And we got PSA seven. All right. Very cool. I know you guys, this is probably the most emotion I've actually shown, and you guys are probably like, it's on a seven, but... This card, keep in mind, is one of the most counterfeited cards out there to begin with. So in PSA, there's even probably some authentic ones that they come back. I see people have them um, with the sticker that says authentic, question mark, because they don't know. So um, big win over here. Now it's preserved, uh, rightfully so, and is of, it's, it's of my goat. So one day I'll get one of these for myself, but for now, for myself, I should say. Um, but for now, this is Jay's. So I'm going to turn this around real quick, and we're going to talk a little bit. 
All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. So um, PSA 7, I know it's probably the most emotion I've ever shown, like I said, for a card. Um, it's because that's my GOAT, A. Eh? But second, it's just exciting to be able to get that card graded. Uh, second thing that came to mind real quick, I see a lot of videos as of late, um, and even on Instagram, a lot of folks are using third parties like myself for pre-grading. So I wanted to share this real quick. So if you're sending your cards off to folks for pre-grading, if they're not giving you detailed notes and giving you an idea of what you might be getting and just sending your stuff off, they're just stealing from you at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> I see a lot of videos out there where folks are getting cards back and it's sevens and eights on ultra modern. And to me, that's kind of just unacceptable. Um, you always want to make sure you give people the choice to decide to grade something or not based on um, your service. After you look at it, you should have open lines of communication. Like you see all my texts, you see all my notes. And, and, and if the folks that you are sending to are not doing that, you really gotta think about it because you shouldn't be getting back a bunch of sevens, eights, and nines um, unless you're okay with it and they told you that's what you're gonna be getting. So just food for thought on that, but I hope you guys enjoy the videos. I'm all about education and transparency. I hope you guys do well on your grading ventures and uh, you know, continue to watch. I have more content obviously coming and that's another thing. I only do like sub videos. I don't create a bunch of content just to talk. So I apologize. I know some of you guys want me to do more videos, but um, until I find something that's fun to do, you know, these are gonna kind of be it. So hope you guys enjoy this and then continue to DM me with questions obviously on Instagram and I will catch you guys again soon.